Hi everyone, it's Paula from Grey Matters Blog, and I'm here to do a super quick feature on the Instagram shop at easyinstax underscore. So for those of you who have never heard of her or have never visited the shop, I'm going to link her account for you in the comments below and in the description box on my YouTube channel. So as you can see, I have a couple of items here in front of me. Um, these notebooks I bought from Easy Instax about a year ago have yet to use them, so I figured I would just use them to share with you what they're like. I was gifted these um, washi tapes and these stickers from Easy Instax, which I love. So these stickers are, um, they're called Life Blog Stickers. So I don't know if you can see that. It's a really cute box. I stick them in these like clear plastic things so that I can see what I'm using when I'm looking for stickers. I also have these four washi tapes. I opened one up for you guys, but here are their designs. There's hearts, there's stars, and then I think these are adorable. They're like little weather tapes that are perforated. And then this is the plaid one that I opened for you. As you can see, I don't know if you can really tell, I'm going to put these on the side for you, but any washi that I've ever bought from Easy and Stacks, they always come in such a huge roll, and I really appreciate that as someone who uses washi on a regular basis. I think that I get my money's worth when I buy washi from her because there's such a wide variety of types, there's a wide variety of sizes, there's a huge variety of designs, and all of them have such great textures, you know, it, you really can't go wrong, and they're pretty affordable as far as washi tape goes. Um, so that's really nice. The pens that you're seeing here pictured in the background are what I used for my pen test in the notebook, which I'll be showing you in a minute. So I have a Pilot Pastel Friction Highlighter. I have just a regular run-of-the-mill Sharpie pen. I have a Pilot Petite Fountain Pen, which I can show you. Side note, I really like this because when you pop the cap on or when you post it, it becomes a regular size pen. So that's what I really like about that. Let's cap it. Okay, I have a Sarasa Clip 0 0.4, also one of my other favorite pens. I like this for everyday use. I prefer the 0.3, but when I can't find the 0.3, I usually just settle for the 0.4. And then one of my all-time favorite pen um, series is the Mitsubishi Uniball Signo DX. This is the UM151. Here's the Signo DX, you can see. And it is in 0.38. So if you haven't seen my Signo DX collection, I will do a separate video just on these pens so that you guys can see. A little word about the notebooks before I put the, um, what do you call it, put the pen test on screen for you is that I, she sells them in a variety of styles. So they come in an A5 and a B5. I have here the B5. The B5 is larger than the A5. It's also a little bit wider, but both can be used for bullet journaling. They come in lined, dot, and grid, and also they are Muji inspired. So if you look at them, they have that clear cover that the Muji notebooks have, the nice spiral binding. They have a string closure, which I hid over here because I don't like to use it, and they also come with ivory pages. Now, if I'm ballparking this GSM factor for these notebooks, I would say that they're probably about 70 to 80 GSM, probably more like 80 GSM, because one, they're incredibly smooth, two, the paper is thick, and three, I love writing on them, I think they're great. You can use them for bullet journaling, you can use them for everyday notes. It's fan they're fantastic, honestly. So I did my pen test in advance for you guys so that you could see what they look like. So here it is. This is the Graph Muji Inspired Notebook in B5. So the Graph is about four millimeters, which I really like. My preferred Graph, like the Hobonichi, is a three millimeter Graph grid, but um, you could also go up to five millimeters, but this is about a four which I think is really nice. So I put a sample of the washi up here for you. It's a really nice design. It's just a simple plaid. You can see that it rips really nicely. It's got a bit of like translucency to it. And in addition to the translucency, it's also got a really nice texture. If it was a plain colored washi, I could probably write on this. But because it's plaid, I won't write on it because you won't be able to see what I'm writing. Anyway, moving down to my pen test, this part is the Sharpie. This is the Pilot Medium um, fountain pen. This Grey Matters blog over here is the Uniball Signo DX in 0.38. And then the last thing that I smudged over here 
is the um, Sarasa Clip Point Four in black with highlighted with the Pilot Friction. So let me flip the page over for you guys so that you can see. All right, so here is what it looks like from the back. You can see that the Sharpie definitely ghosted, but if you're looking at it from my perspective, which is like up from this angle, there is very minimal ghosting. You can barely see ghosting here from the fountain pen. And then even with like the rest, I wouldn't, I don't even know where I wrote the rest of the time. I guess if I look really closely, lifting it a little bit. Okay, so here is where the gel pen is, and then here is where the highlighted gel pen is. But when you put the page down, it's barely noticeable. So that's like something that I've really noticed and liked about Easy Instax's notebooks that she sells. They're not only Muji inspired, they're also basically the same quality for a cheaper price. And when you get that kind of quality for that kind of price point, honestly the purchase is worth it. And if you're the kind of person who's just going to use this for a bullet journal on a regular basis, like we're not writing with Sharpie every day, but look it even holds up to highlighters. I have friends who use these notebooks for watercolor, who use them for class notes, you know, I think that this is a really great everyday notebook and for the price you can't beat it so some of my favorite things about this notebook actually my major favorite thing about this notebook is the ivory pages I find that white can be a little bit glaring sometimes so the fact that these notebooks are ivory really helps with my like love factor um, other than that I just wanted to add that Easy Instax is a fantastic Instagram seller. She's located here in the Philippines. Shipping is quick. All of my transactions have been amazing and I have no complaints. So I think that you guys should check her out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And once again, this is Paula with Grey Matters Blog. Happy planning. Bye.